A man spent 64 days in a California hospital for coronavirus, suffering major complications and undergoing amputation. Greg Garfield was treated at Providence St. Joseph Medical Center in Burbank, California after he caught the virus during a ski trip in Italy in February, KTLA reported. He was the first patient to be treated with coronavirus at that hospital, according to the report. Garfield's symptoms quickly worsened and he was placed on a ventilator for about a month, the report said. Doctors told him he had a 1% chance to live, according to KTLA. Garfield suffered complications from the virus including, MRSA, sepsis, kidney failure, liver failure, pulmonary embolism, burst lungs, he told the outlet. Additionally, all the fingers on his right hand and most on his left were amputated. Garfield, who was released from the hospital and returned home on May 8, said that his hands are never going to be the same, KTLA reported. I don't have fingers anymore. This can happen to you, he added. Dr. David Culber of Cedars Sinai Medical Center located in Los Angeles told KTLA that his fingers were amputated due to how the virus impacts patients' blood flow. COVID has effects on the endovascular bloodstream, so it actually affects the blood flow, Culber told the outlet. That's why some young people have had strokes, and that's why anticoagulation, putting patients on blood thinners, now has been a standard care for COVID patients. Health officials previously discovered that many coronavirus patients have symptoms of excessive blood clotting. As Business Insider's Holly Seacon previously reported, blood vessel-related complications have manifested in coronavirus patients' legs, lungs, hearts, brains, and skin. And while doctors still aren't sure how or why the virus triggers excessive clotting, they're looking to treat these symptoms with blood thinners and clot-busting drugs. Surgeons are creating prosthetics for Garfield's fingers and it will function, like a bionic hand, Culber told KTLA. The report says that the process will require at least six operations.